The most iconic weapon in the galaxy, the lightsaber is an elegant weapon for a more civilized age. The lightsaber origins are a bit murky. Many of the earliest stories of the predecessor to the modern lightsaber are the subject of legends. One of the earliest iterations is known as the Force Saber. The Force Saber was created by the Rakata, an energy blade ignited in similar fashion to the modern equivalent, but channeled dark side energy through synthetic crystals. The Rakata, who wielded the Force Saber, were not Jedi, Dark Jedi, or even Sith. They were a class of Force-sensitive slaves known as Force Hounds. Another legend speaks of the Jedi. One Jedi in particular, known as the Weapons Master, created the successor to the Force Saber, the First Blade. The scarce details about this iteration of the iconic weapon indicate it was very similar to the modern lightsaber. The more important aspect of this weapon may be the inscription on the hilt that supposedly led to the source of vast knowledge. Starting to move out of legends are archaic lightsabers. These commonly go by the apt name of Proto Saber. These early versions were used by both Jedi and Sith during the Hundred Year Darkness and Great Hyperspace War. A lesser known version of the Proto Saber was far from the modern lightsaber. This earliest version had two physical metal prongs coming out of the cross guard that would channel a surge of energy. The more commonly known Proto Saber is much closer to the modern lightsaber. Proto Sabers had a crystal set inside the hilt and emitted an energy blade. However, limitations in power supplies at the time meant that the Proto Saber had to be connected to a power pack. The pack would be worn on the wielder's back or hip. The cord and hefty power pack limited the time the weapon could be used as well as the mobility of the wielder. Advancements in technology throughout the galaxy saw the power packs being replaced with power cells that could fit inside the hilt. These improved packs increased the length of time the blade could be used and led to a revolution in techniques along with the efficient power cell was a superconductor also installed inside the hilt. This superconductor looped energy into the weapon that would keep the cells charged. The only time the cell actually uses energy is when the blade is in contact with another material. Throughout the years, Proto Sabers were often retrofitted with new technology of the day so that they more closely resembled the modern lightsaber and had a longer life and practical use. Legend has it, the first blade received such upgrades. The modern lightsaber hilt is around nine and a half to 12 inches in length. Though each is custom built, the hilts come in a range of established styles. Adept, Adjudicator, Arbiter, Avenger, Champion, Consul, Defender, Firebrand, Guardian, Praetor, Retaliator, Sentinel, Vanquisher, and Vindicator. Controls found on the hilt include an activation plate, a recharge socket, a way to get diagnostic readouts. Activation plates either act on a toggle or are pressure sensitive, so when the switch is released, the saber shuts off. Some sabers also have a blade length adjustment and the blade intensity controls. A small access panel can be found on the end opposite the blade emitter. Above the cell are where at least one, but oftentimes multiple kyber crystals are aligned. On one end is a concave metal plate, the blade emitter. The power cell's energy charge is focused by the crystals and leaves the emitter in a colored weightless blade of pure energy. The blade itself forms an energy loop the amplitude determines where the blade will curve back toward its hilt, defining its length. The emitter is ringed with negatively charged high energy flux aperture. The power cell is constantly recharged throughout the blade's own energy recycling back through its aperture. Because of this constant recharge, power cells and lightsabers can last for years. The crystals used in both the proto and modern lightsabers are kyber crystals. The kyber crystal is attuned to the wielder's presence in the force and emits a vibrant energy when properly channeled. Each Jedi or Sith constructs their own lightsabers individually, making it a deeply personal weapon. The color of the blade is determined by the kyber crystal used. Blue and green being common for the Jedi, dark force wielders use crimson red blades. Quick aside, kyber crystals aren't the only element that's been used to generate the blade of the saber, but it is the most common and most modern material. Anyone can use a lightsaber, but it takes someone attuned to the force to utilize it to its full potential. A lightsaber is hard to wield, even for Force-sensitive users, because of the weightless blade. Jedi Kanan Jarrus' quote explains what wielding one of these weapons is really like. Energy constantly flows through the crystal. You're not fighting with a simple blade, as much as you are directing a current of power. Your thoughts, your actions, they become energy. They flow through the crystal as well and become a part of the blade. Each lightsaber is as custom as the user who wields it. They are all custom built, generally as a rite of passage for a Jedi or Sith. The hilts are often designed after the builder's heritage, species, race, homeworld, 
or take inspiration from their master design in an homage. In a pinch, a lightsaber could be thrown together in a few days, but it's far more common for the build to take as long as a month to get the saber physically built and fine-tuned to the user. There will be a lot more on lightsaber colors in another transmission.